Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own clay model mockups using Adobe Dimension. You can find 3D objects provided by Adobe Dimension in your assets library and any objects you have added from Adobe Stock are also available within your libraries, some of which you will find devices. If we go back to the starter assets, if we scroll down, you'll see that there is a phone, tablet, and laptop. So let's get started with a new canvas. And I'm just going to use some of the provided assets in Adobe Dimension. And I do want to at least have a couple so you can see how materials are linked when you change their color or their texture. Your basic keys that you'll be using are 1, 2, and 3, which will allow you to 1 is orbit, 2 is pan, and three is the dolly to zoom in and out. Now that we have the devices in some sort of composition, let's go to the environment where we will choose our background color. If we click on the canvas size with the pointer arrow V, we can turn off the grid and by selecting, holding down command, I can select all of my objects and go to my materials library choose a mat or plastic and you can see that all of the items were changed the same color if we select one object you can edit the mat color and you'll notice that it changes on all of the devices at the same time if you wish for a device to be a different color you can unlink it and choose the colors independently. If you need to sample a color, you can click on that object, use your eyedropper tool to select another material and transfer it to that object. If you need to move an object to the ground, you can select it, the folder, and here under actions is move to ground. Back to environment, you can change your lighting and the rotation. You may also need to decrease or increase the intensity. Here you can decrease your shadow opacity. You can also choose a background image. If you go here in the assets, this image, you can select a gradient background if you'd like. On these items, if you're ready to add your own interface, you can use the wand tool, W, and select the screen. So here, just the glass is selected and you can add a decal. If you'd like to save a particular angle, here under camera, I will add a new view. That way we can zoom around or orbit. To select a different view and save it. If you make an adjustment and you want to update that camera bookmark, 
go back to your bookmark, hover, and you can do a refresh to save the new view and override. Back to your environment properties. You can go ahead and choose any of these other presets. And you can change the rotation if you'd like. Here under environment, you can also colorize by selecting. If you've sampled a color, it will add that to your color selection sample swatches. You can see there's a little bit of a tint now. If you were to choose a plastic for the plastic, I would suggest uh, for a clay look to increase the roughness to at least 70%. So there are some really cool clay mockups you can create and then render either in dimension or add later your interfaces. I will be including a download available by donation for this mockup which has the iMac, a 12 inch MacBook and the laptop with an iPhone, iPad mini, and Apple Watch. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the section below. And if this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.